I want to do a video on this sports statistic where 60% of NBA players are broke or financially struggling within five years of retirement and 78% of NFL players are broke or financially struggling within two years of retirement. And when we're talking about athletes going broke, a lot of people have this um, preconception that it's just like the black athlete that mismanaged his money, partied or whatever, and it's like, how, how do you make a hundred million and just lose it all, it's your fault. And people just don't understand it. It's like, it's way deeper than that. There's more uh, layers involved. Money changes not only um, the person and the circumstance of the person, but it changes the people around you. So, um, it, it's like anything going over advantages and disadvantages. People just look at someone like that and they think uh, must be nice, but they don't understand um, how much your life is uh, impacted negatively from being like the person with money. So anyone can Google you. Uh, you're famous. You, people have face recognition. They can not only Google you as the as the pro athlete, but they can Google your um, salary. Everyone knows exactly what you're making. It's an open book, and so people around you start to change, right? Like everyone in the family expects um, money or a handout or help. The friends do. People uh, they went to school with, the, the community, like you owe everybody everything. And so with uh, getting that money too, and you're also a human being, people, um, they know about like your past mistakes or um, certain parts of your life prior to you being a pro athlete. So they, they attach that to your current position, right? They hold certain things against you or they spread lies or rumors or that they're jealous, right? Someone from their own community is a pro athlete making all this money and they're at an office and so they're jealous and um, there's personal history there. And so this, um, this causes a lot of deeper things to happen within the life of that pro athlete. It's not just like a bunch of um, black athletes that mishandle their money. That's just, that's not like the reason for the statistic being that high. It's, it's hard. When you're the person in that position, there's a lot of um, temptation out there. There's a lot of threats. There's a lot of people with bad intentions, people who aren't real. You know, that's the thing too. Everyone's going for like their own money in life. Everyone's going for their own goals. And then they, they always have a problem when it's the other guy getting it or the other guy winning, right? And so it's like, like you being known as the person with money, it, it changes everybody around you. And um, there's a lot of uh, stuff that happens in life that people don't talk about and they don't acknowledge. So they take a statistic like this and athletes going broke and they're like, oh, well, uh, if he made 100 million in his career, like mis mismanaged it, you know, like they, it's just like the easy thing to, to think about, but it goes way deeper. So not only the people in your community are, are changing and they expect a bunch of handouts and money, it's also um, it, like women too and how that's impacting you. So you, you think like um, these people around you that um, expect a bunch of resources or expect a bunch of money. So say you do, um, like everybody you've ever known, you give a dollar or five dollars or ten dollars, whatever, a couple thousand. So you're giving out all this money, you're like getting guilt tripped as the pro athlete who has all this money and oh, like, hey man, like we've known each other for ten years, you can't give me a couple bucks, like, like the guilt trip thing. So say the athlete does and he gives a, a little bit of money everywhere, what if he breaks his leg, gets uh, like a season ending injury or career ending injury, it doesn't get renewed for another contract. Are these people going to pay him? Are they going to pay him back? Hell no, they're not going to do that. So this is, as a pro athlete, you've got to be on guard, you've got to watch. So like I was saying with women too, um, when um, pro athletes they, uh, get signed and they have like, um, like a rookie introduction, they sit down the rookies before the rookie even plays one game in the league and they go over, like look, you're getting handed all this money, you're a kid, this is how your life is going to immediately change. So they go over financial advisors and agents and family and keeping your circle small and trust and health. And one thing they go over too is women and that's a huge thing. And they tell these pro athletes um, before they even play one game, if you have sex with women, use a condom for sure and take the condoms with you when you leave. And a lot of people look at that, they're like, well, what do you mean like take them with you? It's like, well, think about it. Like I said, you can Google the guy's name you know exactly how much money he's making. Uh, so people know that and it affects their, um, their uh, like what they're gonna do around him and how they're gonna act. So like when he, um, he, he just thinking that it's just like a normal um, relationship or a normal hookup, but he's a pro athlete now with millions of dollars. So if, if he's not careful, throws it in the trash and then uh, goes to the bathroom real quick and then whoops, you know, He's, she's pregnant, she pulled it out of the trash and 
what, what's she gonna do work for 40 years right which is she gonna is she gonna work a, a bad job or if she's gonna uh, hook up with that athlete why not just forget to take a pill the pill why not just uh, to sneak it out of the trash when he's not looking right this is real stuff that happens and a lot of people don't think about it like oh that's too sci-fi that's too uh, there's no way that this goes on it's just like dude I don't think you uh don't think you really get it. It's just not talked about. It's not PC. It's not good for business. So it's just um, it's something that's not talked about. And so, say as this um, this pro athlete, you know, he he spends his whole life as a kid growing up, and he's not like anybody on the map or anything. But suddenly, he's a, a teenager, and he gets handed all this money. Suddenly, every woman in the country likes him, right? And if he's not thinking, that could go to his head in a way where um, what would just be a regular hookup before. And now it's like there's ramifications to it. Now people know that if she gets that sperm, that's millions of dollars for the rest of her life, right? So if he's not thinking, um, it, then it's going to cost him. Whereas you might be talking to like a frat guy or a guy in college and he doesn't get, doesn't get what you're saying by any of this. Because it's like, dude, when you go to a frat party, um, you're like a broke college kid. Your parents are paying for it. Um, you guys are just like drinking beer or something it's like it, no girl there is really trying to like keep your kid right it's a different um it's a different level of things so like the the college kids they just wake up the next day and be fine just party last night whatever this is a, a pro athlete that's like 19 20 years old that just got handed millions of dollars it's a different ball game completely and so you got to be careful with what you're um, doing in terms of like people you're letting into your life you got to be careful with um, your money with who you're having sex with that's huge so that's why they tell these athletes take the condom with you when when you leave I mean that if you're going to have sex like definitely um, use protection and definitely take it with you because the game does go that deep you know you don't don't leave that condom um, out of your sight don't let don't let uh, the condom be in a, a place where you're, you're not um, you're not there to have attention to it so you think like oh done having sex throw it away go to the bathroom or get some food you come back and then like nine months later she's pregnant you don't know how the two seconds you went to go get a snack from the fridge it could have been that and that happens a lot so say so now like he has a kid with her right and so um, say the same thing happens a couple years later like the next girl he, he's with or thinks he's he found um, the one or something right and so the same thing happens to him so this reoccurring um, pattern he might have like 10 kids or something that he's paying uh, child support to or alimony and um, you don't know about it because I mean they're not it's this is stuff they're gonna say like on TV like and it's not anybody's business what what's going on in their life but I'm just saying that like this stuff happens um, people leeching money, leeching resources, family members, friends, women. Um, this is stuff that happens to these pro athletes. Um, and so it's not just like the like people think sometimes like the, the black athlete that mishandled his money. No, other people around you mishandled you. Other people around you didn't treat you with um, enough respect because they just saw you as the walking resource, the walking dollar sign. They didn't see you as human because they, it, it heightens what people think it heightens everybody's uh like i guess awareness of what's going on like so that guy walks into the room everybody knows that he's got more money than everybody here combined right they're like they're like it's an aura in the room like if uh you know like lebron james or tom brady or something were to just like come to your like local um bar or club or ve some venue it's just like the the whole energy of the room changes because people know who that is people know how much he's got right it, it changes things when um we could be in a room or a bar of like a hundred people we all have you know quote unquote uh regular jobs he comes in he makes more than all of us like that's gonna affect um not only everybody around around him but the women too it's gonna affect um what people want from him what people are going to say to him how they're going to act um it changes a lot of things right so you got to be on guard as a pro athlete this is um you got to understand that when if you're uh, gonna spend all this money whether it's partying or um, taking care of family taking care of friends whatever it, if you get some career ending injury they're not gonna be paying you back so as a pro athlete you got to understand this stuff and but a lot of people don't get it they just think oh well he makes millions so they lose their sympathy completely for it and they don't understand the um, the underside of this because yes, I, like it, he's a human too. So like, and he's made mistakes, and he's you know has his own karma to deal with of how he's treated people throughout the course of his life. But now, he's been handed millions of dollars. Um, it's natural to do things like yeah, like you're gonna take care of your mom, right? You're gonna make sure your mom is set up for the rest of her life. 
um, maybe a couple friends, maybe uh, other family members, maybe um, just a bunch of people from your school and your community and just your neighborhood. But you start handing out all these resources as a pro athlete and then the money stops because it, whether uh, you lost your skill due to age or injury and you know the second you can't perform the league isn't going to pay you so are all these people going to be paying you back no they aren't this is what happens to a lot of these pro athletes so now they got um, all these people that they've paid money to family members friends people in their community their neighborhood women that um they might be paying a bunch of uh, alimony to or child support so you've got that um, you've just you've got like investments that um, didn't turn out great. Uh, people that you thought were on your side, like financial advisors, that have been just like um, siphoning money from you on the loan. You didn't even know it because you can't really trust anybody when you get to that certain point because it just like everybody's out to get something, right? So it, it, when um, when they're not keeping their circle airtight and small, this is what can happen. And so people think like that statistic is crazy. There's no way that that many of them go broke or financially struggling, but um, that statistic is out there. And I've, um, you know, from talking to people and certain athletes, um, I know that to be the case. And I know that there's um, multiple sources talking about that being the number. 60% of NBA players broke or financially struggling within uh, five years and 78% of NFL players broke or financially struggling within two years and it's not just a athlete mishandling money it, that can happen too but sometimes it's the people around him mishandling him not respecting his place wanting something from him leeching off it